The service now continuous authorization and monitoring application applies a standardized approach to automating the NIST risk management framework. The U.S. government mandated risk management framework, or RMF, for federal agencies, but can be used by companies to identify and eliminate risks to their infrastructure. Navigating the seven-step RMF framework can be challenging. Most organizations spend valuable time and effort to comply developing extensive paperwork and operating under tight deadlines. Organizations need the IT systems online to support their missions, so extended RMF processes cost the organization greatly. But with the service now continuous authorization and monitoring, or CAM application, organizations can adopt an integrated, automated approach to RMF compliance and achieve authority to operate faster. Let's take a look at the seven steps and how CAM automates them. In continuous authorization and monitoring, scope is represented by a boundary. A boundary contains system elements that will be a part of the ATO and can also include data diagrams. System elements can be added manually or automatically imported from configuration management database tables or any other table within ServiceNow using filters. Once a scope is defined, we must create a package to send the system elements through the ATO process. The package should be mapped to the boundary that represents the scope and PIA information is only included with the package if the user provides an affirmative response to any of these questions. In Categorize, we derive a package's impact by using the confidentiality, integrity, and availability values of information types. This determines the baseline security controls that could be applied to a package in the next step. We can select if the NIST 853 revision is Rev4 or Rev5. The select step involves applying the most relevant security controls to a package based on its impact. CAM provides a pre-populated list of baseline controls mapped to NIST 853 based on the package's impact level. We could tailor the list, inherit from certain providers, create a hybrid control, or mark some controls as common providers or not applicable. We could also apply control overlays to the package manually through assessment results or via other automated actions. In Implement, the controls are generated and applied. We can find them in the Controls tab, along with their allocation and state, which shows where they are in their implementation lifecycle. The Percentage of Controls Implemented field shows how many controls have reached the monitor stage. In the Assess step, a list of engagements is generated to evaluate the controls and determine their effectiveness. We can run tests included in the engagement to evaluate the effectiveness of the individual controls. In Authorize, we check if any risks were flagged during testing and then send the package for approval. The authorizing official can then review the package and approve or reject the request. After approval, the package enters the final monitor stage and stays here until the next authorization date. Here, we can continuously test the package by adding more engagements or even repeating control tests. With integrated workflows and automation capabilities, ServiceNow CAM provides a unified platform to implement the RMF process. To learn more, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.